If a female punches you, slaps you, elbows you, kicks you, bites you, and you do absolutely nothing to defend yourself, and I mean absolutely nothing, if she goes to punch you and she misses and she falls to the ground and scrapes her hand, that is enough probable cause for the police department to arrest you for domestic violence. Whoever got the mark on them when they pull up, that's who's going to jail. Right. Whoever got that that cut or that bruise on them, that's the one that's going to jail. And the prosecutor, they don't care. All they cared about closing that case and getting that win for some to help their political careers. Period. <laughs> Don Bass 702 says innocent men don't stand a chance in courts against false allegations of domestic violence. Uh -huh. I say DV. I don't know. Can we say domestic violence? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Well, we'll say DV. Let Peanut kick it off. I mean, it's, it's Fish Drum Podcast. Oh. Yeah. Let's go. Fellas, this is going to be controversial. When it comes to domestic violence, if a female punches you, slaps you, elbows you, kicks you, bites you and you do absolutely nothing to defend yourself and i mean absolutely nothing if she goes to punch you and she misses and she falls to the ground and scrapes her hand that is enough probable cause for the police department to arrest you for domestic violence she is going to be so upset that she will say anything to police officers to get you arrested i'm telling you firsthand because i was a police officer Police officers don't care about getting it right. All they care about is making the arrest and then letting prosecutors deal with it. And prosecutors are the biggest fucking scumbags you can possibly imagine. Even if you're innocent and the prosecution knows you're innocent, they're going to try so hard to squeeze a plea deal out of you. And when you, as a defendant, say no, you're not going to take that plea deal and it goes to trial, they are going to judge shop. They are going to block evidence. They are going to coerce witnesses and they're not even going to hand over all discovery to the defendant because they absolutely must win. They will prepare testimony with all the witnesses, including that female that punched you. And all that female has to do when she goes on the stand is say, I don't remember. And that will be enough. In 2019, the Nevada Supreme Court ruled in Anderson versus Las Vegas that any person accused of domestic violence must have a jury trial attached. And prosecutors in the city of Henderson, Nevada hated that. They hated it so much, city attorneys enacted immediately their own municipal ordinance, HMC 8.02.055, denying a person a constitutional right to a jury trial because they want to secure convictions. Prosecutors don't give a shit if you're innocent. So if you're a defendant accused of domestic violence, get ready to fight. And when I mean fight, I mean fight for your fucking life. You are going to lose at trial. You are going to lose on appeal. You are going to lose in family court. You are going to lose, but you cannot let them fucking bully you. You better come to fight and fight fucking hard. Damn, he sound like a pessimist for real, boy. Hey, First maybe, of all, maybe, maybe you want to jump off a bridge or something. Well, he said, <laughs> you know why I know? Because I used to be a cop. So do you have the old cop uniform on? Well, uh, he may be a uh, security guard. I don't know, but I don't, I don't know, know where he lived. But I've uh, unfortunately experienced um, DV, not me personally, but like people around me. And I've never seen it happen like that. Uh, like I've seen, I've seen where men have punched women in the face and still didn't go to jail. So I mm. don't know where he got that from. Um, I guess that. I mean, it, listen, it, it's, it's out there, at. though. It's out there. I mean, trust I'm pretty sure it is. Um, you know, look, Quick says, unfortunately, he's not wrong. Having worked in the court system, I have seen this happen many times. But you can win. It's not all of them. All of them meaning. The prosecutors. Yeah, I mean that's what I said. I'm, yeah, I guess it's according to where you are. I well, like, yeah, for one, especially for men, try not to put yourself in that situation. I, I was about to say the same. It's yeah, yeah, because it's like we definitely want to believe the women who are being, you know, um, uh, assaulted, because a lot of times they're scared to speak up. So we definitely want to yeah. believe them. But then on the other hand. We want to, you know, believe the men who are being falsely the accused, falsely of this accused. Yeah. because and this woman is upset. So, and now 
the one thing that I do, I like say agree with him, but kind of sway to what he was saying was that the police, the police don't give up. Whoever got the mark on them when they pull up, that's who's going to jail. Right. Whoever got that that cut or that bruise on them, that's the one that's going to jail. And the prosecutor, they don't care. All they cared about closing that case and getting that win for some to help their political careers. Period. Period. Mm-hmm. They just want to close the case. They want to talk to you about the plea deal. Talk to you about getting a uh, public defender because the public defenders ain't they ain't shit either. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, so, Lord. Yeah, I, I mean the fight part. Yes, if you know you're innocent, I believe you, you should fight. You gotta fight. You got to. You got to. Because I mean. When it comes to domestic situations, we know that the court system is always is going to more than likely, not always, I'm sorry, it's going to more than likely lean towards the woman. She's the the weaker of the two when it comes to physical strength. So more than likely, mm-hmm. you know, you, mm-hmm. you can overpower. Most men can overpower the women they're with. So, again, if you know you're innocent, yeah, definitely fight. It's not fair that, yeah, you yeah. know. Just don't roll over and just yeah take it. Listen, you I always say you start arguing with a woman. In mid argument, just be like, "Girl, you know, you, you shut up," and just take off running. So that way, you good. You ain't got to finish the argument, or you ain't got to get into a fight. You got you won. You got to hit the Missy yeah, Elliott. Yep. It's my window. I can't stand the I rain. Mean, like I'm, t- yo, I swear. The next time you just turn, take off, right out the door before she could block like, the door. Like what the hell? Like, what the hell? Man, she forgot about the argument. And everything. Now you good. Hey, well. Let's grab a comment. So gra- one of the comments says, <laughs> usually with a bunch of numbers. <laughs> I ain't reading all them goddamn numbers. <laughs> this is exactly what happens to me in Riverside County. Uh, fellas, stay away from Riverside County. <laughs> <laughs> don't go to Riverside. <laughs> I think it's Riverside and Cali. Yeah, well, I don't know where Riverside County is. They have a Riverside, New Jersey, too, so I don't know. Uh, well, Jeff Moons 162 said, my ex-wife tried to pull this with me, and every time... <laughs> they would take her ass to jail, not me. Eventually, she had to take anger management classes. Jeff Moons, <laughs> you might want to get up out of there, player. Yeah. <laughs> you probably like that that other guy we talked about whose wife was putting uh, poison in his coffee. Yeah, so, yeah. Jeff, you might want to get out of there. <laughs> so look, Grubby Lou 66 says, true, I retired after 30 years in the L.A. What is SD? What is the Los Angeles Sexual department? Sex, sexual division? I don't know. <laughs> LASD. I don't know. So he probably was a cop. Who knows? 